Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about our next topic finding element by using accessibility ID. What is the accessibility ID in uh, Appium? So means basically whenever you inspecting for elements locating, we are using for ID and class name and X path and tag name. These are the things locators we are using, right? This is also one kind of accessibility ID. Okay, this accessibility, why now? Because see, normally we have Selenium, we have ID, class name and all, right? But how uh, this accessibility work for mobility? Means this is basically accessibility ID is basically work with the cross, cross platform. Class uh, Cross platform is nothing but it will work with the Android. Android and also iOS both the places it will work okay it prefer uh, we can able to once you write the accessibility ID it will work for both the places like Android iOS both the places it will work without any change in case if you are using for ID or class name something it may be variant by using for iOS as well as Android maybe it is a little bit different happen again you need to write the other, another location if it is android you have to use this a particular id if it is uh, ios use for another one like that it will use it but uh, accessibility id it will not be the same okay now how we can able to achieve for this i'm going to open for android studio now because we need to open for emulator we'll go for step by step okay and now I'm going to open for my virtual device and the more actions and I'm going to use for Nexus 5X APA 30 or I can able to use for Nightwatch Android 11. Okay, this is one I show in the, my previous video how we can able to like while configuring to WebDriver IO, I showed that how we can able to open. Okay, now I'm going to run this one virtual device as well. Okay. This is my virtual device. Now it is opened. Anything we can able to do it. Not only a specific, anything we can able to do it. Yeah. Now I'm going to open for Visual Studio Code Editor. If you want any other uh, APK files one and all, you can able to do it that also. Okay. Now I'm going to take it here. Now I opened and if you see that I uh, my previous video, I showed that this is the one uh, platform how we can able to provide and all. Okay. Now I just, I changed here a small uh, path configuration because uh, we need to like every time I use for hard coded uh, your location, the APK file location. Now I more to different format. This I'll explain you, okay? Now before that also I can open for command prompt and I'll start for server as well. And I'll inspect appm inspector because we need to inspect the element how we can able in inspecting and all now in the emulator i just i'm move it to like this and we need to hit anything and we can able to see whether access uh, accessibility id is presented those things we can able to check okay now, here the port is 4724. Now I'm going to run for my Appium server, Appium, iPhone P and 4724, 4721. This is the one we can able to start for server, okay? And meanwhile, if you want to download any other APK file, we can able to download as well. Okay, which is already existing one. I'll show you just accessibility idea how it works. 
how to take and how to use it. Now server is up and running. Now I'm going to take this saved one, which is the previous one. This is the one UI. Just I'm going to start the session. Okay. Now it is started. Now you can see this is the page we are now. And I'll show for Chrome now. Okay. Just if you click on a Chrome, see there is a first one accessibility ID. That is name it as a Chrome. Okay. If you click for any other thing, if it is having accessibility ID, Gmail. It is similar to this accessibility ID and text are similar. Okay. But not much different. But if you provide that G, it will take for accessibility ID itself. Okay. That is a one advantage we have. Okay. The format which we need to use different format, but I'll go for accessibility, how we can able to create accessibility one. Okay. Anything you can able to see accessibility is presented. Okay. If you click this one, it is having phone accessibility and file accessibility ID. Okay, in case if you maybe can get one question, if I click the phone, I have now here whether this particular phone is having accessibility ID or not. Right now, again, I'm going to inspect. In case if it is there, then we can able to. That this is the one refresh, which is the latest uh, page is presented for uh, emulator. The same one we can able to get it here as well. Okay, now I'm going to see. Here, ID is presented. There is no accessibility. And now these three doors are there. More options that we have for accessibility. More options. Okay. Now I'm going to. One minute. I'm getting on call. Uh, sorry. Now we'll see for this particular one. You can see the accessibility is a more options are present, right? We'll see for this combination now. Okay. For this, we need to write for automation code. Previous we saw right, just empty test case I have written and just we uploaded for one APK file, right? Similar to the same one, just we are going to like here. First in the top. The constant path equal to required path. Okay, after that I added into one folder. Inside that I copy pasted for this APK file. This I downloaded from uh, Google. Just I went for Google, and here I search with the API demos iPhone debug dot APK downloader. Okay. Then I come down and here we can able to see there is a version of four latest version of 4.0 version. Okay. This is the one I clicked here. Then I downloaded. Okay. After downloading, I just created one folder app and that I paste for this APK file. Okay. And after that, this uh, wdio.config.js file location and uh, path I in imported then in that here this is the one this is basically this uh, line of code it will returns for current directory location that is wido project iphone underscore ap app this is the one file location getting purpose after that inside that we are going to get for app and their app name which is the app name we are going to make it okay Process does CWD, CWD, open message. This is the one we need to pass it. Okay. Then in an empty location, we need to write for our code because we need to click for, first we need to click for phone. We need to click phone. Okay. First we need to, first this more also I'll copy. I'll copy and paste it here. These are more options. And then phones also I'll select. 
this is a phone this is a accessibility okay this is a phone purpose okay now i'm going to search here i'm going to give this is a async apis for that i made it for async which is if you see for web driver io related a code and all uh, web driver io i think apis only now i'm going to make it for cast and then phone app equal to await and then dollar and here we need to use for tilde operator before one before one any uh any accessibility id we need to write in a single quotation tilde operator this is the one you can able to find in a one before one okay and then we need to pass it for my mobile accessibility phone this is the id accessibility id okay we store it into a variable okay now after that we have to do it for await and we can able to wait for some time that is a browser dot a pass 5000 seconds that is a 5 seconds then we need to click that particular button the phone app right await phone app dot a click okay there is a function we can able to click that particular one okay then again i'm going to wait for some time okay then again what i need to do i need to verify whether this more option is presented or not okay more option is presented or not for this again i need to constant more option equal to await and again dollar a single quotation a tilde operator and then i'm going to pass for my value okay now this value having for more options then here what i can do for i'll do for await await and here i can able to expect expect and here i can able to use for more options dot to be existing if it is existing then we can able to get it okay otherwise we can't this is my code now i'm going to run for this particular code if i click first i i need to click for my phone then i need to wait some time and then i need to verify this particular uh, more options presented or not if it is not existed then it will give you for error okay for this running purpose npx wdio run space dot slash wdio dot config dot js space iphone iphone spec and i am passing for where the file location is presented okay and here also i just we need to pass for our path file this is a folder and this is a apk file okay now i just i am running now now i'm going to we, we can we can see here once it is started execution and we'll see for clicking for phone now it started for running you can see here clicking action and all we can able to see it will take some time now see phone is it is clicked okay now test case got passed okay test case also passed you can able to see now it is verified okay using for this more options it is presented result is is presented like this and it is successfully verified more options
now even you can able to see it is clicked and verified if you want to click this particular one and see that this uh, history and setting all that also we can able to do it by using this operation just you need to use it only for uh, more options dot click then you need to verify whether those elements are presented or not now you can able to see these options like this and again we have to because second server is running right that's why it is showing again it is and we need to restart because it is overlap right this particular uh, visual studio it is running another server and this is also but it is pointed to the same one now again you can able to see accessibility no settings no we don't have that accessibility id for these two we have xpath and attribute element index and class names and all presented this will see for our next video sessions okay this all about for this video i hope it this help for you to learn more on this thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues don't forget okay thank you